I was having a discussion with uh, Tux Digital on the Mumble server yesterday, and he suggested that I have a look at Kubuntu. Now, um, I had mentioned that, um, you know, I looked at other KDE desktops, and I was particularly fond of KDE Neon, and he told me to have a look at Kubuntu. He said he was a little bit biased, though. Um, probably because he uses this distribution himself. Well, he uses the uh, LTS version of it anyway. And uh, he said he made a number of suggestions to uh, the Kubuntu team. Uh, so, he just, so he suggested I have a look at this, and uh, so here it is. I downloaded it and installed a fresh copy in um, my virtual box, and I have this running on a nice little virtual SSD drive. Let's go ahead and open up a console and um, see how much memory this is using. All right, and this is using 406 megs of RAM on a fresh uh, install and first time boot. So, um, and this is consistent with all the other KDE editions that I have looked at. Um, this is using a, a fairly low amount of RAM, which is pretty good. But this isn't surprising because I've seen uh, that KDE has been uh, doing that quite a bit. Let's see what you get here by uh, looking at the lower right pancake menu. It gives you the ability to add other options, uh, widgets, and that sort of thing. Tons of them to choose from. And this is consistent with other Plasma desktops that I've looked at. You can uh, collapse everything and show the desktop. You've got your uh, calendar and uh, your clock options. Status and notifications are all here, along with the volume, um, vaults, network, and updates. Then, of course, you have uh, the traditional KDE menu, which I absolutely loathe. Um, but we can change that to other options again. Uh, you have the application dashboard. Or the application menu, which I'm going to be using uh, in today's exercise. All right, now, um, one thing I liked about this edition is it gave me the option to do a minimal installation on Kubuntu, so that is what I did. Uh, this is a minimal installation, and let's see what you're basically getting on a minimal install. How many options do, or, uh, you know, software uh, items am I going to have to uninstall? so I can insert my favorite applications. Looks like you got Gwenview, Ocular, and uh, Scanlight for graphics. Just the Firefox web browser is included in Internet. No other Internet tools? Great. All right, um, looks like VLC is thrown in. You got a K3B, which is arguably arguably the, probably the best uh, burning uh, disk burning solution okay and um, the Pavu control uh, Aquilar for your on-screen keyboard uh, you got so it looks like this is slimmed down quite a bit from what I'm seeing here um, the Discover is included, which is like a software center. Um, we'll have a look at here. Then, of course, Dolphin, your file manager. Open up a few things here. Okay, you've got your console. All right, and a few other utilities thrown in here, um, such as Arc, Kate, and a calculator. So, it looks like a nice minimal installation to build on top of, and you don't have to remove a bunch of applications. Okay. 
Looks like it took a minute for uh, the uh, Discover to uh, load up, but it did give me a number of options. I like how this looks. It's a pretty slick looking um, installer. All right, and you can pick the type of uh, applications you want to install. This looks pretty. Kind of like it when you've got a nice uh, application menu for installing different softwares. This is especially newbie friendly. Um, let's also go into settings here. All right, and uh, let's uh, change some things with the system. First, we'll start in look and feel. All right, this must be the default Kubuntu theme that we're looking at right now, where I certainly prefer a nice dark theme. And that looks good. You can also define other colors if you don't like this particular one. Um, apply Zion? Nah. I really like that one. These look like the default um, colors, though, that um, have been shipping with uh, KDE for some time now, though. I think I'll go with the Obsidian Coast. So, um, you have a lot of uh, options here. Um, configure your icons that are, you're going to use. Doesn't look like... Uh, oh, good. They did include some then. All right. Looks like this one's running a little bit slower than other KDE desktops. Could be my personal computer figure configuration, though. And not necessarily uh, the fault of the distro. But um, I seem to remember that um, the Manjaro KDE and the um, KDE Neon seem to operate quicker. But as stated, it, I may have flubbed this one up myself. Okay, so we got a few little icon packs thrown in here. I'm not seeing anything in particular that, you know, really uh, rocks my word world. Let's try this one. Hmm. Okay, there it goes. Delayed reaction there. <laughs> All right. We have uh, desktop behaviors and effects that we can apply here if we want to. I'm not really going to do that today. Okay. Um, so, looks like instead of uh, having to right-click, going to more actions and configuring the window manager, you can actually do that from here now. All right, that's cool. All right, you can configure your shortcuts. Start up and shut down. Your search preferences. Personalization, network, and hardware. All right, looking good. Looking good. Okay, I like this removable storage and uh, actions um, uh, set up here. And all in all, I, all I can say is I love the appearance of KDE eventually. One of these days, I'll switch my computer over uh, to the new Plasma desktop. I like the design, look, and feel. Um, but the one thing that really drives me nuts are these uh, menus. I really don't like this style of menu. I'm more of a fan of uh, the whisker menu and how it's all set up and everything is self-contained. But I understand the community is working on a better menu system uh, that uh, mimics whisker. And they're going to have one for KDE. And when they do, hoo hoo hoo, when they do. Because, uh, yeah. But other than that, uh, I like what I see here. This was a good suggestion, Tux Digital. Um, it looks good to me. But then again, uh, I've always liked what, you know, I, I didn't initially like Plasma when it first came out. But um, it's actually grown on me uh, in the years that this has been available now. Um, it's looking a lot better. 
as stated, I tried to use uh, the Plasma desktop on my Manjaro system, but for some reason, um, it kept crashing whenever I tried to manage uh, the appearance of GTK applications, and that's one reason why I didn't keep it. Um, but I'm keeping an eye on this project. Eventually, I will be uh, transitioning over to the K desktop environment. I like all of the options it brings to the table. And uh, this is certainly something that could help me um, to balance my workflow. It's just not quite there for me thus yet. But if you, on the other hand, uh, happen to like what you're seeing, there's a link in the description where you can uh, visit the Kubuntu website and you can download a copy of this. Um, this is the 1810 version we were just looking at. But I would suggest maybe uh, opting for uh, their long-term uh, support release, which is the 1804. Um, that one's good until 2021, where this is only good until, uh, I believe, July uh, 2019. Uh, this one ends. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's all I have on this. Uh, again, Tux Digital, thanks for suggesting that I have a look at this. I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next on Cup of Linux, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. So, until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.